Depth Pro from Apple just came out, and you can now do fine detailed monocular depth estimation in under a second. Let's take a look at how well it does. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics and AI, so subscribe to learn more. So right here is their paper if you want to take a deeper look at it. And they also have a repo that follows along with it, so you could check that out. So Death Pro here is a zero shot method, and all of the tests I did was on a V100 GPU, and all of that took under 0.3 seconds with 2.25 megapixels. Pretty amazing. So if you look here, this is a chart. You can see that it's comparing different methods here. You have the Depth Pro, DPT, Depth Anything V2, the UniDepth, the Metric 3D, 3D V2, Marigold, and Patch Fusion. But here you can see that up here in the start is Depth Pro, so you can see that its runtime is very fast and the boundary call is very good. And here you can see this is the model architecture. So what you notice here is that on the left, you have the downsampling that's happening. So it's going to downsample it, and then here it gets passed into the image encoders. And then what it ends up doing is it takes all the features and merges it. It's going to upsample again and then put it back into the DPT decoder here and then get your um, depth map. And one thing that's very special about this one too is that it can also do a focal length estimation where my head is blocking. So you can see right here the focal length. So I'll show you a little bit of the data for that as well. But here you can see that this is a zero shot metrics data accuracy. And you can see that depth pro here, uh, if you look at the bottom row, you can see that it outperforms in the ones that's green here, so the Middlebury and the Sintel. And here is the zero shot boundary accuracy. You can see that in terms of all of it, it performs very well. So that's the one of the main things that's very good about this model is the boundary accuracy. So if that's the thing that you're looking for, then this model will be very good for you. And here you can see that there's some comparisons on the focal length estimation. So you can see that it also does very well. So previously, a lot of the other models have a challenge in getting a very accurate focal length. So that's another good big plus if that's something that you're looking for. So here, let's take a look at some detailed images. So here you can see of a rabbit. If you notice here around the hair, um, let's take a look at how the different model performs. But here you can see these are the four different models here. And what you'll notice is that the Depth Pro does very well in terms of each strand of the hair, the whiskers. You can see the metric 3D V2 barely catches anything. The Marigold is kind of fuzzy. The best, next best thing I would say right now is the Depth Anything V2. But if you look at Depth Anything V2, which they just barely mentioned in this paper, is that uh, Depth Anything V2 is usually only very good for translucent surfaces, where Depth Pro actually struggles with that. So you'll notice that a lot of the examples that they show aren't with the translucent surfaces. So here's another example of a cage. So if you look up here, you'll notice that Death Pro catches a lot of the details. You'll see Death Anything V2, it's a little bit fuzzy. And here with Marigold, it's just a complete mess. And Metric 3D, you can't even capture any of that detail. So here's another example of the cat. What you want to notice is the hair here. So you can see Death Pro, look at all the fine details of the hair that it captures. Very amazing. Depth and V2, it kind of gets it, but it's a little bit fuzzy. Marigold here, is surprisingly, it does a little bit better compared to other models. And then Metric 3D is just a big blob, so you can see that it doesn't capture anything at all. So now we'll be taking a look at some examples of the novel view synthesis. So the idea of this is that it'll take some image, calculate a depth map, and then generate a new view from the depth map. So here you can see this is the original of a horse. If you pay attention to the top, we'll be focusing on how the different models perform on this area. So here you can see the four uh, examples. Depth Pro, you can see that the border is very crisp. Depth Anything, you can see a slight fuzz around here. Marigold is much more obvious, and Metric 3D is much worse. And here's another example of a windmill. Notice the details of one of the windmills. You can see here Depth Pro gets all of the um, lines here, you can see. Depth Anything V2, you can see near the edges. It tends to be missing. Marigold, pretty much completely misses that. And surprisingly, Metric 3D here actually gets most of it. And here's another example of the zebra, notice on the back area. So you notice here Depth Pro, very nice clean boundary. Depth Anything V2, you can see a little bit of artifacts here. Marigold is pretty bad, you can see it's 
almost like an extension of the body. And metric 3D here, you can see there's some artifacts here as well. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.